You're right guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this hanger for a punch bag using scaffold poles. Now the first task on this project is to cut the poles to length while I'm here getting blinded by the sun. I want to say a massive thank you to Evolution Peritools for sponsoring this project because I'm going to be using their Rage R255 SMS miter saw to cut the poles to length. It's going to be a breeze using that. To make the frame to the hanger we only need three pieces of scaffold pole cut to length. One cut at 50 centimetres. one at 40 centimetres and one at 55 centimetres. The Evolution Miter Saw makes quick work of cutting the poles to length and it always produces a nice clean and cold cut. There's a link in the description to the saw I'm using if you'd like to find out some more info. With the three sections cut, it's just a case of putting it together now, using the fittings. The pieces go together really easily. It's best to only tighten them slightly at first, so you still have some wiggle room to get them all fitted together. Don't forget to slide on the wall brackets before adding the bottom angle connector. With all the pieces together, they can now be tightened fully. These fittings really did make it a breeze to go together. Literally just goes together with an Allen key, that's all you need. Get some decent tension on it and them solid as a rock. All slots together, you haven't got to worry about cutting angles on the pipe at all because all these different angled fittings do the job for you. Cut them to length, slot them all together and jobs are good in. To hang the punch bag on the frame, we just need to add a hook. To mount the frame to the wall, I used 50mm long M8 couch screws and 8mm wall plugs. Now for the time being, I've only got two anchor points. I've got one here and one on the top of the corner. Should really have the four in, but it's strong enough as it is, and we're not 100% about where we want it yet. But a huge benefit of using these fittings is I can loosen up. And then with them loosened, it can fold against the wall. Nice easy storage. Now I really wanted to include this project in my build or buy series and I am, it's going to be in the same playlist on my YouTube channel but it was kind of awkward for me because I knew you can get hold of old scaffold poles, old builders yards have loads that they can't use anymore and they literally just give them away for free half the time, especially if you need small offcuts. Well I looked and I looked and locally I just couldn't find any, so I had to buy these. So I do keep that in mind, if you're looking to do this as a cheap option, half the time it's going to be cheaper to buy a hanger off Amazon and just make do with that. But for sturdiness, I don't think you can go wrong for this one. And if you can find some old scaffold poles that nobody's using anymore, and you've got permission to use them especially, make it out of that. It's a no-brainer. So that's it for this then, guys. It's hanging up. It's sturdy. I can punch it. It's not going anywhere. Yet yeah, this bag isn't the heaviest bag in the world, but it does the job, and I can hang my weight off this. No trouble. And I'm currently about 65 kilo, so I think that's more than enough for a punch bag in your back garden. Dead simple, with the scaffold poles and those fittings, you can do all kinds of different projects. And I've got some more coming up that I've got planned. I want to do some bedroom furniture using this stuff. So we'll see how that turns out. Thank you all for watching. I want to say a massive thank you, as always, to my Patreon supporters. Honestly, guys, can't thank you all enough. Really go above and beyond with your help over there. And it just goes a long way to help me do stuff like this. So thanks again, guys, for supporting the channel. Catch you on the next video.